I have lion mane hair. You're going to see a lot of this shirt. There are like four, four adult size shirts like this floating around. So I wear them in my pajamas and stuff. The wife has one. I have two. And one of the oldest daughters, the oldest, one of the oldest, we only have one older daughter, has one. Also, corn. I talked to you about my corn yesterday. Corn. Look, you just, we're going to make corn right now. Well, I guess. Jesus made it in the field, but you know what I'm saying. You just peel the little things off. I snap the stalk at the bottom. Just makes it easier to handle. You just pe peel it layer by layer. When I was little, my family's from Mississippi. And when I was little, um... So basically, if you're from Laurel, we might be re Laurel and Picayune, we might be related. Um, it was an inbred Mississippi joke. Sorry, uh, we're actually Native American, so and French. Anyway, so we used to go to my mamma's house, and mamma was like a mummy, dude. She was so ancient. She just sat in a chair and kind of stared. I don't ever really remember hearing a talk. But she had a girl named Petey that lived with her. And I don't know if Petey was her sister or her lover. <laughs> I don't know. In my brain, they were always like a, a couple, which I guess means that like the all the signs that you're gay, that you, you know, in retrospect, you look back and you go, oh. But actually, I think, um, like, like I said, I always thought they were like a couple. I don't even know why I thought that. Because when I was little, I don't even think I realized anything like that. But anyway, um... But I think she might have been her sister or her cousin or something, like, taking care of her because Mamma was so old. But anyway, Mamma lived out on some land. She had these crazy freaking dogs. She had a porch that was closed in and had ducklings on it. And um, she had corn, forever and ever corn. And I used to get so excited to pick the corn, pull the corn up. So one time we were out there, pulled up all the corn, got it into the, sh into the uh, trunk of the car, and I was like, we're bringing that corn home. And I hated corn when I was a kid. I don't know why I was so excited about it. But um, it was covered in, in bugs, little black bugs. So that's what it looks like. Oh, it's from the fridge. So it's cold and it's crisp. And I'm going to rinse it. And I'm going to eat it just like this. It's going to be so good. Mm-hmm. Yay. Oh, my gosh. I just got back from Zumba, and I'm so totally thrilled. I'll tell you all about it. It's called Centeo. Yay! Okay, but I wanted to tell you about something else. I did my whole things I'm loving. Subway chopped salads. Let me tell you about a chopped salad. They put everything in a bowl and then they chop it up together. Now, when I watched them do it, I was like, that's going to be so gross. But actually, it's so awesome. All the little bits that are usually big and make eating a salad so ungraceful are like, like not smushed, but chopped up and in every bite. And because the flavor is spread through the whole salad, you don't need dressing or anything. I know, right? Totally loving it. I'm about to dig into this, and then we're going to talk. Hello. Okay, so you just saw my chopped salad because I'm in love with it. And I have something else to say. OMG. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. Look at this. I got this in the mail. It says, hello, New Orleans. Costco comes to Louisiana. I want a Costco so bad, it's ridiculous. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Anyway. Um, artichokes. How do you eat them? You take the leaves and you put them in your mouth and you scrape them. Uh, yeah. And you scrape like the meat off the leaves. So that's like the fleshy part. Anyway. Off the inside of the leaves. Anyway. Um... And it's actually not very soft. Like, if you look at a raw one, it doesn't look like you can. But after you cook it up, they become, like, easier to do. That's that. Uh, Crystal Light, because Mandy asked. Mandy's all, up oh, spamming your comments. Girl, I love it. I miss you guys so much. I love it. So, uh, she asked me about Crystal Light. And if you're asking me from a Weight Watchers point of view, they do now accept Crystal Light and coffee and anything that doesn't have sugar in it. Or, like pulp or like any kind of like you know as your water I do count crystallite as my water like because I drink about a gallon of water a day and generally um one pitcher of that is water and one pitcher is crystallite so 
There you go. You can totally do it. Uh, I, if you're drinking nothing but water now because of, like, trying to meet your requirements, I would totally do half and half. It's going to change your world. So, enjoy. Hope you like it. My nephew's on his way over. We're just hanging out. I am copying CDs. I have the Bible on CD. A friend from church who I love. His name is Wayne, and, and I love him in my heart. I do. Um... He let me borrow his Bible on CD, and the Bible, on the audio Bible, is like almost a hundred CDs long, so I'm just copying, 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 and I, yeah, that's it, that's where I'm at.